I had my wife saying, wait a minute, you've been earning great checks every two weeks that have been coming home to mama. And now you want to go out and be a commission only owner and have your own company. What are you thinking? <laughs> Having the mindset to say, we can do it. I think that's the difference is a lot of people say, ah, we can't do that. You know, your second year, third year in business, you can't do that. But we have the mindset as a company, as a team saying, we're going to do that and we're going to make it happen. What up, Masters? Welcome to another episode of Path to Mastery. And this week we are with Mike Dooley, my friends, who is the Director of Expansion with the Hergen Rother Realty Group. Her group, you'll probably know him as. And the cool thing is my team is actually rolled in to the Her Group as well. And these guys, I don't know if you knew this or not, but they're not ranked in 2018 number 18 real estate team in the whole world. Yeah, that's the whole world, my friends. And Mike is the director of expansion. Uh, Mike's a huge visionary, and, and you're going to hear his story. Guys, listen, his first year in a business, he put together a team that did $50 million in volume. Yeah, that's right, $50 million. I mean, it's actually a, an amazing story and uh, he's going to share it with you and it's about you know casting a vision it's about surrounding yourself with the right people and just living life i mean and and he's a family man he's a he's a great guy he's a great power of example and it's a, a super super great interview uh, you're gonna get a ton from it a couple things i want to let you know first off we're gonna take a couple weeks off so we'll be back in the first thursday of august okay and we're bringing you back a special episode with kind of a best of with we're going to use this clip from mel robbins you guys remember mel robbins the five second rule uh, obviously gary v which was probably my hardest interview to get and i got it uh grant cardone brian tracy yeah that's right the original brian tracy uh chris voss bringing back some chris voss uh one of our most popular episodes as well and john acuff uh, who is just absolutely phenomenal, okay? So the reason I chose these episodes beyond the speakers themselves or the guests, they had the most downloads of all the episodes we've done. So looking forward to that. That's going to be really, really fun. So keep your eyes on that. And listen, though, for now, uh, Mike Dooley just kills it for us. And pay attention to this guy. He absolutely rocks it. Oh, and the final thing before we go, Mike had a great book recommendation called Shoe Dog. I cannot say enough about how awesome of a book that is so go get yourself a copy right now as a matter of fact i would pause the episode go to davidsfreebook.com if you don't already have an audible account go to davidsfreebook.com get yourself a free copy on audible right now and as soon as you're done listening to mike start listening to that because it is absolutely unbelievable all right anyway that's enough out of me you guys rock enjoy mike dooley and we'll see you in a couple weeks what up masters welcome to another episode of path to mastery and today i'm with mike dooley hey what's up mike hey what's going on how you doing david i'm doing phenomenal my friend and thanks for joining us now i know mike personally because you are one of the ceo actually you're not a ceo are you you're what is your role yeah well you know the great thing about keller williams you have like four roles you know and four titles yeah. i love it i never thought when i'd get into business i'd have like five or six titles and i just i'm a title accumulator you know yeah, yeah, me too, man. I, if you look at my business guy, people are like, who the heck, what does this guy do? <laughs> I know you obviously from the Her Group. You're CEO, but you're also, I believe, are you the director of growth? I am, yep, director of growth okay. uh, for Bergen Rother Realty Group. And congratulations, that's your newest role. So. It is. And then with your volume, I mean, you've done 50 million volume. You have four locations right now, so you're expanding within the expansion. And this is the interesting thing, man. You've only been in the business for one year. Yeah, it's just over a year. It's pretty cool. We're pretty close to eclipsing, getting to that 50 million. We're on pace for that in our call it our four states and five locations, which is the beauty of Keller Williams and the beauty of expansion and the beauty of being able to follow Gary's models. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I mean, either you know a lot of people and we're able to have a really great first year or you're following some models. Tell us how you got to 50 million in one year. Yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, actually, I'd say it's a couple things. I think it's the models. I think it's the things that's provided by Gary Keller and his million dollar real estate book. But also, you know, I'd really add the real reason is the who. I have the most talented people in my organization. 
and the people behind the scenes that really make it happen and execute flawlessly every day. So it's not about Mike Dooley. It's about having the great who. And that's what I tell a lot of your listeners, a lot of your subscribers, get the who. And it makes things, you know, you hate to say easy because, as you know, nothing's easy. I shut down about 11 or midnight every night. So it's not like it's just, you know, a cakewalk. We're grinding every day. But it's really about having the who and the talent. So Okay. So, I mean, you know, we get the who, but, you know, one year in a business, I mean, you have to have something to bring the who to. So how did you get started in real estate? Like, where did this business come from? I mean, you have to have the team or the business in order to attract the people, right? Or am I missing something? Yeah, no, dead on. It's obviously, I think a couple things that's worked for us is laying out the vision, saying where we're going. We've put our two, three year org chart out there whenever we talk to a who or a talented person. And it's just like Apple. I think they want to be a part of something and a part of something bigger and have a mission and really just create something from the beginning. So with us being new, fresh, and I think our social media really helps amplify what we're doing. And people want to be a part of that. You know, always paying it forward in charity. You said, how do I do this? I think some of it's been, I've been blessed, obviously, like we all have in this country. But being, I worked for three or four Fortune 200 companies prior to coming to real estate. And you asked them there, how'd I get started? Such a great question. So my father-in-law is a custom home builder here in Northwest Arkansas, the Bentonville area, and has been for 40 years. I was about to turn 40. And I said, I got to have something bigger. I want to do something more. I was super blessed in having those great roles and jobs in Fortune 200 companies, awesome companies. But I just said, I want to do something more with my life. I have two daughters, and I wanted to be able to tell them, hey, you can do whatever you want to do. So my father-in-law challenged me and said, hey, if you want to build some specs and you want to sell a spec a quarter, why don't you get your real estate license? And that's what I did. And I met a terrific team leader, and he handed me this big red book and said, Here's Gary Keller's path to a million dollar real estate. And I really just soaked all that up. I actually just finished reading it for my fourth time. So it sounds to me like, I mean, obviously you picked up the book, but I mean, you've been selling, how long have you had a real estate license? I got my license in 2016 on Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. The funny story, probably like a lot of your listeners and subscribers is I had my wife, you know, and they have a spouse or a partner that's saying, wait a minute, you've been earning great checks every two weeks that have been coming home to mama. And now you want to go out and be a commission only owner and have your own company. What are you thinking? Yeah. So that's kind of why the reason it went from Valentine's Day until I didn't start full time until August 1st, 2016. Well, that's what I was getting at. You, <laughs> so you spent your first year, did you spend your first year kind of figuring out the business, studying the book? and prepping yourself so that you could jump in and and launch a really powerful team? Or what did that first year look like before you got into production? And that's a great question. Honestly, I was working another job, still selling widgets to Walmart until really, I think my wife believed and we could do this. Building it all on the back end, kind of like you said, you know, building the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, understanding the book, recruiting, obviously talking to great people. One of my first hires as far as an agent and Mick Broach, awesome, great guy, started with me in July. And he basically grabbed onto the vision and said, I want to do this. I want to be part of this. And was rookie of the year in actually 2017, this year for Hergen Roth Realty Group, which is pretty cool. Mm. Well, first off, tell us what your vision is. I mean, you've mentioned the vision a couple of times. So what is your vision? My vision is, and you know, Gary says this, you can be anywhere you want to be in five years, is to have several things funded and taken care of. I want my five-year-old, my 15-month-old to say, hey, dad, I want to go to Harvard. I want to go to Stanford, wherever it is. And dad say, I got you. I think another piece that's a little bit deeper than you go into the vision, I always heard this and, and everyone's probably heard this. You can be anything you want to be and do everything you want to do in life. Mm. I wanted to be able to give 200% and I do every day so I can really look back and tell my five-year-old, and my 15-month-old, dad gave it his all. And here's where he's able to fund college for you. We're able to have, you know, bigger dreams as in beach house, some of those things that abundance and wealth comes with that I'd love to provide for them. So, I mean, listening to you, I mean, obviously this is stuff I would think everybody wants, you know, but how do you like articulate that? Like, where does that division 
an agent is talking to you or you post something on social media, what does that look like? Yeah, great question. I think a lot of it is just being authentic and being real and just saying, you know, I'm a dad. You can juggle all these things if you time block and you're strategic. And I think we help coach our team members to say, I think a lot of people have that stigma that you have to be this agent and showing property all weekend, all nights. If you help and lay it out for your clients and say, here's our goal, here's what we're going to do. For instance, I'm going to show you five houses if I really ask great questions. We help coach and mentor our people to do that. And I think that's really been game changing for us. Mm. So it sounds like you do a lot with just kind of putting out what you guys are up to on social media platforms and then other people are attracted to that. Is that accurate? For sure. And, you know, I think some of this big success in just a short period of time, I think that's been a lot of things that people have gravitated to, not only in real estate. I think everyone wants that in their own life. They want to have great success and they want to be able to have success just by giving 200 percent. And that doesn't always happen in our world. So I think that's been some of it that people have gravitated to and want to change their own life. And I think that's what's helped in our recruiting efforts on having awesome, talented people on our team is they want to be part of that and they want to help drive that mission and drive that throughout our communities. Mm. So obviously a big part of your success, Michael, is your talent, your agents. How many agents do you have now total? We're at 15 in Arkansas. We have two in Kansas City two in Omaha and one in Charlotte, North Carolina. Got it. Okay. I'm assuming the the 15 is your hub. Is that accurate? It is. Yep. That's where we started and that's where the vision came from. And people say, why these other locations? Actually, if you take any course or anything about expansion or developing a business in another location, we actually weren't looking in these locations, but the who came to us. So if I had really had to give you one thing, it's really about having the great who. We've been blessed in that way. No, I get that 100%. So let's talk about, you know, when you're attracting these people, like what do you do? Or I guess, do you have like favorite recruiting tactic or a way to attract these people? We do. And this is not start in the beginning, but I think it works really well for them and us. My chief of staff does a great job of setting up a 15 minute cultural chemistry call with any candidate that's looking to join our organization. And we set that call up with the individual on saying, hey, have you ever worked in a job that you hated, you didn't love, and you didn't like working with the people you're involved with or employed with? And I think once we set that stage for them, they're bought in. And I think they really want to be a part of that. And we say this might not be the right fit for both of us. See, I think that's where we get it wrong as employers and as people hiring is we always say it's all about us. No, it's about both of us. And we start the relationship off that way on saying, this is about both of us wanting to have fun, accomplishing our goals and doing great things together. Is that something you can buy into? Hmm. And in that first 15 minutes, we really talk through, you know, what are they trying to accomplish and really ask good questions. And I think that helps align because we've had several that they've been amazing, smart, great people, but it hasn't been where they're going collectively. And, you know, that, and that's the great thing. I think that's why people want to work with us. So let's say you're talking to somebody that is pretty content or happy where they are right now, but you know that you could offer a bigger opportunity. I don't know if you'd know, but you, you would at least you think you can offer a bigger opportunity to them. What does that conversation sound like? Or how do you get those people to jump on board? Awesome question. And here's what I tell anyone in our organization, anyone new that we're talking to. I think that's where the difference A lot of employers and a lot of either team leaders or mega agents say, this is the way our structure is. We go at it a little differently. What are you trying to accomplish? If someone came in and said, I want to do $200 million in business, we would help build the model and system around them. So for instance, two of our largest producers, we said, what do you need? What's your gap? What's your problems? And some of it is they were showing buyers and listing and doing a little bit of everything. And I said, perfect, let's get you a showing assistant. So we add a solve to that immediately. And what about the agents that are um, concerned with splits? I mean, that comes up a lot. This is a great interview for people that are thinking about expanding. Let's focus on that for a little bit. So, you know, we're reaching out, we're contacting agents, we're looking to expand. It comes up a lot. Well, you know, I wouldn't do it for that. You know, what's your, your split, this, that? How do you deal with that situation? I love that question. And I actually stop them in their tracks right there a little bit. And I say, 
I've laid out a vision for you and a plan. As you can realize, we're not the organization that talks about commissions and splits. We talk about net profit. We talk about money that goes home to you and your family. Because, for instance, and I give them an example, and, you know, we hear this a lot on trade magazines, articles. You've heard Gary say it. The average agent does about five to eight units in a year. So what we can offer them with all the systems and tools and all the staff at our hub, they can actually do, and I don't want to put limiting beliefs, but 40, 50, 100, whatever that number they want to strive for. And I say, what's 50% of 40 or what's 100% of five? And I ask them to do the math, and it's about what they want to bring home to their family. And I think once we lay out the conversation that way, they get it, and they get an aha, and they go, great. And I say it's not only about giving back a net profit. It's about giving you back more time. Mm. If I told you, and you know, it's changed. It used to be 214 tasks to close a home. Now it's 198 with technology. But I say if 192 of those can be handled by our staff and our hub and everyone that's surrounded you, and you only have to do six things, and you go home to your family every night for dinner, is that something you're interested in? And I think people gravitate to that, and that's been really key and helpful for us. That makes a ton of sense. I want to back up a little bit. You said something in the beginning, and I think I kind of glossed over it. And it's really ironic that you said this, because it was one of the first things I thought when I woke up this morning, is you can be anywhere you want to be in five years. You mentioned Gary Keller said that. I remember he said that on stage. Tell us, what do you mean by that? You know what? That statement I think about weekly, daily, all the time, because I think a lot of times, and that was some of the things in corporate America, like I said, not a ding on them, but you'd be in a job maybe for 18 to 24 months. Then you'd go do this other job for 18, 24 months. In our industry, in our business, if you want to go be CEO of a location, you could do it today. That's the difference as we don't pigeonhole and we allow people's big whys and their visions as long as they'll put the time in to do the business and models and like lay that system out to get there, they can be anywhere they want to be in five years. And what that means is to me is girls' weddings funded, college funds paid for. It's having that abundance and being able to set that up. I just mm. never thought about it that way before. See, before you thought, you know what, I'm going to donate a little bit to the college fund. You flip it on its head and you say, you know what, in five years, here's where I want to be. And you lay a plan to get there. I think that's really the aha for me. It's turning it on its head and not saying until I'm 65, here's what I'm going to do. You say, no, five years is the mark. Let's set these things up in five years. Yeah, I I realize it's possibility. It's like anything's possible. I mean, if you look at what people have achieved, because I think we all, you know, including myself, can kind of get stuck in that daily minutiae of, okay, is this all there is? You know what I mean? With that, it really creates clarity around the fact that, you know what, I can change. I can do whatever I choose to do. And a lot of times it's only making slight changes or variations in what we're actually doing. So I think for me, if I'm articulating this right way, but it creates creates hope. Not I don't know if hope is the right word, but you know what I'm saying? It's just... Yeah, it does, for sure. It's like, man, anything's possible. And I truly believe that. And I just love... It was one of my biggest takeaways from, from Gary at Family Union. That's why I brought that up again. It gives you energy, I think. You know, yeah. like you said, it gives you that, that hope. And when you have that energy and that excitement and that passion, people gravitate to that passion and that fun and that energy. I think that's part of it too, is that's what he really wants to drive out of us is you know what? Give your 200%. What does that look like? Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes, you know, there's going to be ups and downs in life. I think that's just the nature of the game. And and sometimes when we're in a, maybe we're in one of those downs, we can use this to realize that it's just part of the process. And honestly, a lot of times that we learn more, at least myself, I learn more from, from some of the struggles I have than when everything's working perfectly. Dead on. I mean, that's the only way you're going to change. I mean, if you ask our team, you know, we're keeping this light and fun and want to, you know, pay it forward to allow people to have a vision or strive for something. But our team is like, whoa, Mike, you're going to change another system. You're going to change another tool. There's a couple of things you brought up. I want to make sure that I highlight on is, you know, I'm here in Bentonville, Arkansas, and that's the home of Walmart where Walmart started. A lot of people think, you know, hey, Walmart, you know, the smart guy, Sam Walton started it when he was 20 and it was a vision. It was an idea. It wasn't like that at all. He started Walmart when he was 44. And you look back at, you know, Schultz, who started Starbucks, he was 61. 
And I think that's a piece for me, too, that goes back to Gary's point and some of the things that we were talking about. No matter what age you are, or where you are in your life, you can change and start today and really make an impact on something. I mean, Walmart has over two million associates that work that people are fed from, have health insurance and have things because of that visionary. Yeah, I truly believe that if you have your health, that's the most important thing and then anything else is possible. I'm just grateful. I'm share today is for me is November 7th. Today's 15 years of sobriety for me, man. So when I woke up, I just had a lot going on in my mind with gratitude and just realizing beyond everything else that's going on in my life, man, if I go back 15 years, it's just like, wow, is it a different place in life, you know? That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, One, you have a beautiful family to do this for, and that's why you're giving 200% every day. And I admire everything that you're doing to help our community and help. You, You do such a good job in pouring into especially the young people. I've seen some amazing script and role playing from you. You're a master at it, and I love it. What up, masters? I'm going to get you right back to the show. I want to share a couple opportunities with you. First off, my new training program I'm super pumped about. People have been asking me for years, guys. It's School for Realtors. It's an expired training. I'm giving you everything, my friends, every single thing that you're going to need to convert expired sellers in this competitive time. All right, I have every single script you're going to need. From the initial conversation, how to keep people from hanging up on you, to the closing script, right? We're giving you a copy of our pre-listing packet. I'm giving you emails that you can literally copy and paste templates. I'm giving you a 65-day email campaign, guys, that you literally copy and paste. Expired flyers, okay, two different marketing pieces. And we're giving you actual ads that you can use on Facebook. Guys, these are these are these are targeted ads that I've been using on Facebook where I'm generating people calling me and saying, hey, God, I see you guys everywhere. Yeah, why don't you come over and take a look at my house? So I'm giving you everything. This is called Expired School for Realtors. Simply go to schoolforrealtors.com. Cost you $149. I wanted to make this such a no-brainer because it's going to be the best investment you will ever make in your real estate business for $149. And here's a better thing. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So at the end, if you said, you know what, Dave? I just didn't get value in your expired training, then I'm going to give you your your $149 back and you still have all my materials. So how's that work, right? You can't go wrong. Listen, everything is here, everything you need. And here's the last thing. We have a monthly call. You're part of an awesome community where everybody in the community has the same goals, okay? Here's you're sharing things that work with each other. And I am logging in monthly and doing a live training for everybody. You have role play partners. Listen, this is everything you need. It's so simple. You go to schoolforrealtors.com. You get to download and then you just start downloading. And I even made it step by step by step. Awesome opportunity for you. And then finally, and we're going to get you back to the show. I promise if you love audio books or if you love podcasts, you need to check out Audible. Audible Audible.com is Amazon's audio book site. You can get yourself a copy of Crushing It or any book you want. I would encourage Crushing It for free by going to davidsfreebook.com. Again, davidsfreebook.com. Get yourself a free copy of any audiobook you want on Audible. Yes, they're going to ask you for a credit card, but here's what you're going to do. As long as you cancel within 30 days, your credit card will never be billed. So schedule a reminder in your calendar 25 days out, and if for some reason you don't love the service, then you cancel and your card's never, ever charged, and you get to keep the book. Guys, listen, these are opportunities how, how do you go wrong with either of these opportunities? Okay, listen, I just want to share that with you. So a couple opportunities, schoolforrealtors.com and davidsfreebook.com. Enjoy the rest of the show. What's your biggest challenge right now? Biggest challenge? And, you know, I've had coaches and mentors and leaders in my life say, as a team and as a company, even though you're licensed in 16, call it your first year in business, you know, you're you're going to come really close or catch 50 million. That's great. And then the and comes after from a lot of mentors and leaders. What's next? We obviously want to go to 100 million. There's a difference in the mindset and in the business to go from that 50 million, which a lot of great people are doing that, to go to 100. That really puts you in the top of the top. So we're looking at it differently, dissecting every part of our business, every team member. We have the right who's. Are they in the right position? Are they in the right job? So right now we're doing that like a lot of people is dissecting and looking at 2018. Are we set up for success? 
can we double? Do we have the right tools and systems to do that? I believe we do because of the who. How do you know that? Are you talking to other people that are doing that? Are you modeling it? I mean, because, you know, we always say the thinking that got me to where I am today, that's my best thinking, right? For sure. hundred percent. So how do you get to that next level? Like, what does that look like? Listening to great podcasts like yours, I'm actually investing in myself as a leader every day, reading, going to networking events, going to mega agent events, listening to other mega agents, looking at some of the failures they had. That's the thing that I love. People that are much more successful than I am and that we are, they're so willing to share to say, here are some of my failures. We're going to continue to have failures every day, but how can we minimize those just by learning and investing ourselves? So not only investing me as a leader, but our folks are continuing to invest in themselves every day and think differently. A lot of it, if I had to put one word on it, it's mindset. Having the mindset to say, we can do it. I think that's the difference is a lot of people say, ah, we can't do that. You know, your second year, third year in business, you can't do that. But we have the mindset as a company, as a team saying, we're going to do that and we're going to make it happen. So I think that's the piece that's really driving us. Yeah, vision, my friend. It sounds like your vision. I want to touch again on expansion before we get wrapping up. But when times get tough for you, Mike Dooley, things just aren't working and just don't even feel like it. How do you keep moving forward, man? Yeah, great question. I obviously have, I think, fabulous people in my life, friends, leaders, mentors that will let me bounce ideas off. They'll let me invest in them and spend time. I think it's who you surround yourself with. And I've been, you know, we've, we've, I feel like the show should be called Blessed. We've, we've said that a lot, but it's true. We're really just having great people around. And you know what else? I think amazing, great people that are in my life don't allow me to get down on Mike Dooley or get down on us long. It's like, hey, I heard you. All right, let's move on. What are we going to do to overcome this? I think that's the difference. I think when you have a sphere of influence or people in your life that say, oh, man, that stinks, and you keep you know, driving in on it and honing in on it and kind of doing an oil field on negativity, I don't really have anyone in my life that are pushing me forward. They're saying, you can do this. What's next? Let's keep moving. And I think that's the difference, and I think that's key. I will. You said, you know, what do I do when I'm down? You know, some of it is prayer. Some of it's talk to my wife. Some of it is look at my kids and play with my kids and say, this is why I'm doing it. I'm reminded of that all the time. So one of the things that's important to me as a businessman, I'm home every night for dinner. I mean, there's some times that you're traveling for work that happens, but almost every night that I'm in town, I'm home for dinner and I'm spending that quality family time. So even my company or anyone that interacts with me knows from 5.30 to 8.30, I'm not available. That's family time. But then I'm back online at 8.30 till about 11.30. Love it, my friend. Tell our listeners, like for people that are interested in expansion, I personally think the real estate industry is changing. I think there's a lot of changes coming to our industry. And I think it's going to be a lot more challenging for the individual agent, unfortunately, going forward, as well as maybe some of the smaller brokerages. And I think expansion is a great option for a lot of people, not for everybody, but for a lot. So what are your thoughts? Like why expansion, Mike? There's a couple things. And this was an aha for me, why I wanted to get into it and get into it so quickly. I heard at several different mega agent events, and this is within Keller Williams, obviously, and I know you have listeners and subscribers everywhere, but at just a snapshot, there's 174,000 Keller Williams agents. So last year, expansionists did about 3% of that business. This year is projected to be about 10%. But here's the crazy stat and the aha for me. Next year is projected to be 20 to 25% that expansionists which is a tiny, tiny percentage of that 174,000 agents, call it 1,500 agents, are going to do almost 25% of the total business. And that just tells you what they're doing is they're scaling, they're systematizing everything. So for instance, if you had a team of 1,000 agents, you'd probably need a four to one ratio and staff to agents. So you might need 250 people at the hub. Expansionists can do it with 25 people and be very efficient and be more profitable and do it more flawlessly for the client. That's the most important part is obviously we're transforming lives through home ownership and being mindful of that, but they can do it in the right way. So that was big aha for me and that should be for your listeners and then people that are watching from the peripheral. Yeah, I I think personally, and I've had some great conversations with Pat Hyben and some other people that have been in business a long time and, and the expectations are being changed. What was acceptable A couple years ago, as far as when you hire a realtor, it's grown. The expectations are just a lot higher. 
And I think that service is a big part of it, Mike. And even, you know, from what we're doing with social media to internet to virtual tours to the new what's coming into real estate now is artificial intelligence, everything. I mean, it's just there's so many changes coming. I love that you hit that social media piece. I mean, think about, you know, even 15, 20 years ago, if you wanted to get a piece of marketing material out, it was just local and it'd be just hyper local in your area. It'd be in the newspaper, it'd be a magazine, it'd be some of those other marketing levers. Now, for instance, you know, I just got pinged from Facebook saying you had 89,000 likes and those are throughout the country. So when you have that scalability and you have that followership, you can really be a change agent. So we obviously have that opportunity to do that and we're just capitalizing on it. Yeah, definitely. What I think I meant to say is, is um, virtual reality is also going to be changing the, the real estate. So many things, there's so, many, so much technology coming into the world that's changing all the industries. So that said, why, I mean, if you're an agent and you're listening, why would an agent want to look at expansion? I, it's the wave of the future. Think about, you can have virtual assistants, you can have assistants and really take more What's the most important thing? Obviously, our family, where we're going, and you can take more money back to you and your family and do more good in your local communities and throughout the communities and pay it forward and love what you're doing. That's the piece. I think it used to take, you know, who knows, you know, there's 1,440 minutes in a day, right? It probably took, you know, to do a transaction, it could be 20, 30, 40 hours. Now with having a team, you have specialists that can split up those duties, there might be some same time that's taken, but they can really be more effective because that's what they're doing over and over again. And I think back to kind of like the Model A, Henry Ford, and, and you know, it's, this is not new to our country. This is something they established being able to be a specialty expert. And that's what we're capitalizing now in real estate. Yeah, no doubt. What would you say, Mike, is the one thing that makes you successful in your real estate business? I don't know if I can really put it on one thing. I think it's really having a drive. I want to prove some people wrong that, you know, that we can do this and we can be great. And then, but do it the right way. We want to be great and have abundance to, for instance, one of the goals that we have in 2018 is we're going to donate a home to either a single mother or someone in need with a lot of different partnerships with builders and with other foundations. I want to be able to have this abundance so we can pay it forward and change our communities and change some of the places in the United States. So I think that some of the things is the drive. I would say obviously having talented people around me and then having leaders, obviously like Adam Hergenrother. I mean, the guy has the biggest vision and heart and I want to follow a leader behind that. So if I had to put it together in a nutshell, it's leaders, it's drive, it's blessed and having amazing talent around us. All right. And what questions do you get asked most about expansion? That's the funny thing, I think, is a lot of people don't understand it or don't know or think they understand, but they don't. I think the first question is, how do I get started? And I think it's like anything we do, just do it, you know, just get started. But I would say the piece that I did is there's a lot of great courses. You were then Keller Williams ESO is an amazing course that can help educate you. And one aha that I had, I thought we were actually going to expand in Charlotte and Kansas City quicker than we did. But I came back and realized that we had so many gaps in our business, not that anyone was doing anything wrong. We just weren't as efficient as we thought we were to be able to scale this thing. So it's about scaling. So that would be one thing. If people ask about expansion, how good is your hub? How good are your systems? You know, challenge yourself in that way. How big of thinkers are your people? That, I think that's important. And then, you know, why expand? So you have to have a reason to expand another place. Is it because you live in a community, say, for instance, you know, we, I see a lot of people relocating to Charleston, South Carolina. Is it because you have a tie or someone that's relocating from your community? So if you live in the Northeast and they're going to Naples all the time, is that make sense from a business that you have that natural tie and your business is referring automatically anyway? So it's capturing that piece. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right. So you talked about vision. You talked about people. You talked about the why, the hub. What didn't I ask? Anything that we should have talked about that I didn't ask? I'd say great questions, great time. I guess the other piece that I would leave is invest in a coach, whatever company you're with. I think that's really been, you know, and that's the key lever I, I've left out maybe in this interview or this discussion is having a coach that's always pushing you further. I'll give you a perfect example. 
we probably thought, you know, hey, in our, our first year as a company and business, you know, $10 million is still an amazing, great business. But I had a coach drive me and say, why don't you talk to all your folks and find out what their goals are and find out what their volume is? Our number actually bottoms up was $89.2 million was our goal for 2017. So in some ways, I'm not disappointed in our folks because they gave 200%. I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't drive us there and have the right systems and tools. So I'd say that's the big piece is having a big goal and going after it. Brilliant, my friend. What would be your book recommendation for our listeners, though, if they want to take their business to the next level? Most recently, actually, I did Shoe Dog and I did an mm. Audible. Here's the thing I think that a lot of misconceptions about Nike, it's similar to Walmart, so much a lot of those brands. I think that we think that these amazing brands just like happened. They had a connection, you know, but you realize when you listen or read Audible on Shoe Dog for Phil Knight, that guy had a drive. He had a goal. He had a vision. He had all these things we talked about today. And he continued to have hurdles, which we all have. Mm. And he had setbacks. But yeah, you know, you think about it. I don't know what's equivalent, but I think I heard someone say it's like $50 million that he owed the government. Can you imagine at that time when you say you owe the government $50 million? I think most people would pack it up and just say, forget it. It's not worth it. But he didn't. The guy overcame all the time. So I think that's one of the greatest books right now that I've read. I think that's a phenomenal book. And I, and I like the point you just made. And, and when he owed the government $50 million, that was before he had $50 million. You know, so he was in debt, man. That's a phenomenal read. Thanks for reminding me. So for our listeners, you can go get yourself a copy of Shoe Dog at davidsfreebook.com. Just go to Audible, davidsfreebook.com and get a free download of Shoe Dog. It's absolutely fantastic. The other thing about that book, Michael, is the people. I mean, remember the guys he put in, like those guys... I don't think without those, I forget the guys' names now, but he had those two guys. Remember the guy who's sending him letters like every single day from yeah, the beginning? Exactly, exactly, and, yep. And, and then and then later on, he, you know, so he found really, really good people that were able to help him achieve what he was able to achieve. So an outstanding read. All right, that's it. How do our listeners get in touch with you for referrals? If they want to talk to you about referral business? It's hergroup.com or the com, or they can call us at our headquarter office at 479 479- 616 home. Okay. And now you're in Arkansas and tell us your other locations. Yeah, we're in Arkansas. We're in Kansas City, Omaha, Nebraska, and Charlotte, North Carolina. And then obviously with our Her Group expansion, we're in 18 locations. And you can find out more about those at hergroup.com. And then we're just, you know, blessed and we'll take the best care of any of your referrals and really treat them like our own. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, man, absolutely. I appreciate your time. And the final question on the path to mastery is what is the one thing, the one thing that you want our listeners to take from this interview today? Never give up. You know, give it all. Give it 200% every day. Awesome, my friend. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Masters, if you know me, you know health and nutrition is number one. And that's why I'm an advisor for AdvoCare products. Listen, in my opinion, these are the best products on the planet, guys. You get what you're supposed to get, right? I use the products for health. I use the products for energy. I use the products for wellness. So we have all the different lines from Spark, you know, starting your day with a great energy shot all the way to pre-workout. It's whatever your goals are, right? It's whatever your goals are. You can check out the products at www.livelongersmarter.com. That's my website. Or reach out to me. I'd love to have a 30-minute or, you know, anywhere from 15 to 30-minute conversation with you just talking about your health and nutrition goals and what I can do to help you achieve those goals. So again, products, energy line, wellness line, whether it's joints, you're getting up there in the age, you just want to keep take care of yourself. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, one of the greatest compliments I get is people, uh, you say, wow, I, I, you look amazing. I cannot believe you are the age you are. You know, weight loss. I've helped lots of people, guys, lose weight. Not just lose it, but keep it off with the products. And the, the cool thing is I'd say 75% of the people who start with our products, they continue using our products even after they initially tried them, which has been amazing. And strength, if you're into bodybuilding, then hey, you know, Rich Fronin, okay? I don't know if you know who Rich Fronin is. Uh, he's an advocate for uh, for AdvoCare as well. So amazing products. You can see us, we're featured on NASCAR, uh, professional soccer, college basketball, college football, Men's Health Magazine last month. 
These are the real deal, guys. LiveLongerSmarter.com is the website. Or reach out to me. if you Like I said, if you want to have a personal conversation with me, just send me an email in the subject line. Just put Advocate Products. And I'd love, like I said, schedule a 15 to 30 minute call with you to talk about your health and nutrition goals. Guys, you rock. Live Longer Smarter. And as Gary Keller eloquently said, if you don't take care of your body, where are you going to live? You rock. You are listening to One More Sale with your host, David I. Hill, author of The Sales Playbook. Get your copy at www.thesalesplaybook.net.